Welcome to the Tinker Nut Comment Show. In this corner, weighing in at 325 by 65 pixels, with a staggering three and a quarter thousand subscribers, it's Geeksmithing. And in this corner, the reigning current champ, weighing in at Raspberry Pi all the way from the far reaches of Reddit, it's Goodbean. Are you ready? Bite! Don't be silly, you're all winners in my book. I used a QEMU VM on my PC to compile FFmpeg. That's actually a really good tip, but a little bit further than I wanted to go for this project. Basically what TV8G is suggesting is known as cross compiling, where instead of spending several hours compiling FFmpeg on the Raspberry Pi, instead you can compile it on a virtual machine with the same architecture and a lot faster processor and memory, and then you can transfer it over to the Raspberry Pi. You better use this if you're gonna live stream. That was the plan, but with the 20 second lag, that wouldn't make for much of an interactive live stream. Which is part of the appeal of live streaming in my opinion. Random pro tip, the and at the end of the line in rc.local is very important. It sets a PID for the script so that the rc.local's execution is not stalled at that point. Well said. I have nothing to add except this. I would like to see some sort of project relating to a Pi stack. What sort of speeds could you achieve with multiple Pis working in series? So I've already made a cluster computer using Raspberry Pis. And while I don't think it would work for live streaming, I do think that you could use it with FFmpeg to encode videos faster. How much faster? Well, until I can get to it, I'll leave it to you guys to find out. What's the purpose of making this type of camera with a Raspberry Pi? Is it to make it smaller than what's currently available, or cheaper, or better, or more customizable, or just fun? First off, awesome channel. Secondly, what's the purpose of art, or music, empathy, that comment? This isn't really about the end product, it's about the process. Besides the fact that I don't know if there's actually a dedicated YouTube live streaming camera on the market, it's about seeing a problem and finding a creative way to solve it. A cool idea would be to have a chat displayed on the screen. Not sure how easy it is since the Pi is barely able to live stream the video, but it would be fun. That would be an awesome idea. And depending on YouTube's API, you may actually be able to do it. But if they even have a way to display it like in a web browser by itself, then you should be able to find a way to display it on the Raspberry Pi screen. It's a cool idea, so I hope somebody out there finds a way to make it work. <sighs> okay, my friends, this is going to be the last comment show for a while. I'll be busy playing Papa for the next few months, and I'm also going to be retooling my channel. So when I come back, it's a lot more streamlined with better projects that don't take months to finish. I appreciate everyone that said that they'd be willing to help out with feedback and assistance. So what I've done is I've set up a form so you can submit your name, your email address, and how you feel you could help. Then hopefully sometime over the break, I'll be able to do a live stream and get a conversation started and get some ideas rolling. It'll be strange not doing videos like this for a while, but I'm excited about what the future holds, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.